Hello, welcome to this week's level one class. It's going to work a little bit more on the abs this week, make the class a little bit harder and a little bit for the glutes as well. We'll come onto your hands and knees to get started. So, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, tuck the elbows in, we're just going to warm the spine up, so drop the ribs down to the mat, arch the back, lift the head up, and then drop the head down, ribs to the ceiling, drop the ribs back down, lift the head up, drop the head down, ribs to the ceiling, lift the head up again, and then one last one, drop the head down, ribs to the ceiling, and then back down, back is flat, pick the left foot up, look around the left arm, right foot up, look around the right arm, left foot, and right foot, perfect, so just switching side to side, a little bit of rotation into the hips, a little bit of side flexion of the spine, perfect, one last one either side, and then back to the middle, so we've got forwards and backwards, flexion extension, a little lateral flexion side to side, and then a little bit of rotation just to warm up, so right hand underneath the arm, reaching all the way across, keep the left elbow pointing as far back as you can, and back to the middle, right elbow pointing back, reach the left arm across the body, rotating the spine, and back, right arm across the body, and back, and left arm across the body, and back. One last one on your side, right arm across, drop the right shoulder down, breathing all the way out to the end, and back, and last one, left arm across the body, and back to the start. Good. Next one we're going to do, we're going to rotate a little bit differently, right hand, or left hand behind the head, and open the body up to the ceiling, and back down. Keep the left hand there, and opening up, and back down. And watch your shoulder position to the right arm. So keep the shoulder blade back, and back down, and down. So keep the left elbow tucked in, right hand to the head, open the chest up to the right, and back down. Good, and again, open up to the right, and back down. One more, point the elbow straight back, keep the left shoulder back and down, as you rotate the body around, and then back down. So it's giving a bit of a warm up to the next exercise. So we're gonna come into our T push-ups. So we're gonna straighten the body out, hands below the shoulders. We'll start from the knees, but you can go from the feet if you want. So we're gonna come down to a push-up, back up, right hand to the ceiling, left elbow points down towards the feet, right hand comes down. Into the push-up again, elbows beside the body, left hand up towards the ceiling, so a nice straight line down the body, right elbow points back, bring the left hand back down, one more either side, into a little push-up, right hand to the ceiling, left elbow points back and look up towards the ceiling as well. As you come down to the push-up, keep the elbows tucked in, Last one, up, left hand to the ceiling, nice straight line through the body, left hand down, and then bring the knees forward again. We're gonna warm the abs up now, so tuck the elbows in, toes tucked underneath the feet, lift the knees up, and lower, one, two, three, four, and last one, five, we're gonna hold. We're going to march the feet up and down. Perfect. So a little bit of weight down through the hands. And then we're going to rest. Right hand up. So rest the feet. Left hand up. Keep the knees hovering. Right. Left. Right. Left. One more either side. And last one. And then rest the feet back down. Perfect. Over onto your back now. So, knees bent, feet on the mat, head resting on the head block, imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, hands by the side, and a couple of toe taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, a little more than a couple. We're aiming for ten. Keep the ribs down, keep the back flat. Last one. Bring the feet down onto the mat and rest back down. <coughs> Next one we're going to do, two feet. Imprint again, legs to tabletop, tap the two feet off the mat and back up. One, two, three. Focus on the imprint 
As you bring the feet down, reinforce the imprint. So push even harder. As the feet come down about halfway, relax the shoulders. Chin is tucked in. Two more. And one last one. And then bring the feet down onto the mat. Next one, we're going to bring the hands into the little bit. So we're going to start thinking about the upper body and the ribs. So right hand onto the, I say left hand onto the right ribs. Right hand to the ceiling. We're going to reach the fingers up to the ceiling. Drop the shoulder blade back. Reach the fingers up. Drop the shoulder blade back. Imprint the spine. Keep the rib cage down. Right hand up and back. One last one. Right hand to the ceiling and then back down. Keep the shoulder blade down and pull away from the ear. Good. We're going to bring the right hand back behind the head. Keep breathing out. Keep the right elbow straight. Touch the thumb off the mat and squeeze the right ribs down towards the pelvis. Make sure you don't pop forward. So keep that imprint. Pull the ribs down. Right hand to the ceiling. We're going to go for three of them. So keep squeezing the ribs nice and tight. Right elbow stays straight as you bring it down. One last one. Keep the elbow straight, touch the thumb off the mat, and then back up. Good. Switch hands. Right hand onto the left ribs, left hand to the ceiling, imprint, reach the hand up, and drop back. One. Reach the hand up again, drop back. Two. One last one. Reach the hand to the ceiling, and drop back down. Pull the ribs down, elbows tucked in, left thumb comes back, keeping the elbow straight. Left thumb touches the mat, and then back up. Really squeeze the ribs down. Make sure they don't pop up at the end. Keep that left elbow locked out. Two. One last one. Tuck the left elbow in. Left thumb comes back. Keeping the elbow straight, pull the ribs down. And a nice soft tap off the mat. Should be difficult at the end to keep the ribs down and touch the hands. Especially if the shoulders are a little bit tight. The shoulders are flexibly easier keep pulling the ribs down. Next one, we're going to reach the two hands to the ceiling, imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, we're going to tap the right foot off the mat and left thumb off the mat, one. Left toes, right hand, two. Right toes, left hand, three. Keep pulling the ribs down, four. We're good at the imprint, but we can forget about the ribs, so this increase our awareness. Good. Six, seven, keep the elbows straight as they come back. Eight, nine, one last one. Shoulders are tucked in. Ten, hands to the ceiling. And then bring the legs in. And the hands right down. Perfect. If you have a circle, we're going to grab it for the next one. Or if you have the bone. So we're going to reach the hands. Again, squeeze the circle gently. Push the hands to the ceiling, round in the shoulders, and drop the shoulder blades back. Round the shoulders again, with the elbows straight, and drop the shoulders back. One last one. Push the hands to the ceiling, drop the shoulders back to the mat, and pull the shoulders away from the ears. Imprint the spine, the rib cage comes down, and the legs to tabletop. Perfect. So keep the spine imprinted, tap the two feet, and the circle off the mat. Good. One. Two, three. So remember, reinforce the spine, reinforce that imprint as the feet come down. So halfway, push the back into the mat. Good, we're halfway now. Six, so push the back into the mat as the feet are halfway to the mat. And remember, the ribs, keep pulling the rib cage down. Good, last two. Perfect, chin is relaxed, elbows are tucked in. Perfect. Hands to the ceiling and bring the feet down. Great. So while we have the circle here, circle between the thighs. We're going to go for 10 squeezes. One, so two legs together. Two, three. Focus on the ribs being pulled down. Back is imprinted. Nice smooth movements in and out. Seven, eight, nine. One last one. Ten and hold. Left leg out and in. Right leg out. And in, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Good, left leg, right leg, left, 
right, one more each side, left, one more on the right, squeeze the legs, hold the circle there, and 10 quick squeezes, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relax the legs, good. So what we've done there, we're working the adductors, which helps contract the pelvic floor muscles, we're working them in different ways, we can isolate one leg at a time, so we only use one muscle and then the other muscle. We get the pelvic floor contracting when we use the two of them. And then we get the pelvic floor contracting nice and quick as we do the 10 quick squeezes. Now we want to work on endurance, those muscles. So circle back between the thighs. We're going to do a set of hunts. So hands by the side. You're going to reach the hands to the bottom of the mat. So the shoulders come away from the ears. Elbow or chin is tucked in. Big deep breath in. Breathe all the way out. The rib cage comes down, roll the head and shoulders up, squeeze in a circle and beat the hands. Two, four, five, breathe out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, in. Two, five, out. Two, four, five. Remember, get the head and shoulders up nice and high. Keep the shoulder blades pull back so you're lifting up from the chest. We're over halfway. Good, breathe in, two, four, five, and out, two, four, five, keep squeezing the circle, and in, two, drop the shoulder blades back, out, two, four, five, last breath in, and out, two, three, four, five, roll the head and shoulders back down, and relax the legs, good, come back a little bit from the shoulders, reach the circle up to the ceiling, so squeezing the circle tight, Drop the shoulders back, elbows are tucked in, and into some bridges. One, two, three. Good. Remember, exaggerate that imprint, rolling the hips back. Good. Lift and lower. It's a nice, easy one. We're just working on some bridges. We're also just getting a bit of focus to the upper body. As we run the lower body through, it's fairly repetitive and easy for us now. We're just allowing our focus to drift to the shoulders, keeping the elbows tucked in, and keeping the shoulder blades back and down. One last bridge, roll the hips back, hips nice and high, and the vertebrae come down one at a time. Good. Next one, we're gonna go for another set with the circle between the thighs, this time a tabletop, so working the adductors slightly differently. Imprint, legs, tabletop, circle between the thighs, and we're gonna do the same sequence as last time, 10 squeezes, one, two, three, four, five. Keep the shins parallel so the knees and feet move in the unit so you don't leave the feet behind as the knees squeeze in or as the knees drop out, you don't leave the feet touching each other. One last one, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, good. Remember, feet and the knees move together. And the last one, Ooh, 10 quick squeezes, I nearly forgot. Keep the shins parallel for the 10 quick squeezes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Grab the circle and come back down. That always confuses me as I try to squeeze really quick to keep the feet and knees as one. You tend to want to leave the feet behind with that. Good. So, now we're going to work the pelvic floor again, we're going to work as endurance. So again, we're going to squeeze the circle nice and tight, keeping the adductors on, keeping the pelvic floor working, and we're going to add a bit more stress to that by doing the hundreds with the legs and tabletop. So imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, knees over the hips, hands by the side, big deep breath in, breathe out, pull the, up, pull the lower ribs down, chin to the chest, head and shoulders up and beat the hands. Two, Four, five, breathe out, two, four, five, chest up nice and high. Go in, two, five, out, two, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, four, five, in, two, four, five, out, two, four, five, we're halfway there. Go ahead, head and shoulders up nice and high. Go ahead, keep squeezing the circle nice and tight. Good, three more breaths in, drop the shoulder blades back. Good, last two breaths, keep these in the hands. Good, make sure the chest doesn't roll back down to the mat for the last breath. Keep the chest up nice and high. 
and breathe out. Two, three, four, five. I think we're finished there. Good. Rest the legs back down and grab the circle. Good. We'll give the abs a little bit of a rest. We're going to work the adductors a little bit more. So trying to work the pelvic floor. So we're going to put the circle between the thighs. We're going to imprint our spine, hands by the side. Straighten the right leg, toes pointing to the ceiling. Slide the right foot out and back in. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, slide the heel out first. Six, seven, so the toes are always pointing up. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, slide the left heel out. One, two, three, four. The right leg stays straight. Five, halfway there. The spine is imprinted, so you should feel the abs engaged with this. Last two, and last one. Good, and bend the knees and bring the feet down. So you should feel the lower abs work quite hard, not as much for the upper abs with that exercise. We'll leave the circle down to the side now. You can get rid of that, circular cushion, whichever you have. We're gonna straighten the legs down onto the mat, and we're gonna do some roll-ups. This time we're gonna reach up to the ceiling. So arms forward, chin to the chest, rolling up, reaching up, one, and back down, nice and slow. Two, chest up at the top, and back down. Three, remember fingers are pointing up. Control on the way down. Four, make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Good, so as you're reaching up, you don't let the shoulders scrunch up to the ears. Keep the shoulder base down. We're halfway there. Six, and back down. Good. Seven, and down. Eight, back down, nice and controlled. Last two, nine, shoulders away from the ears. One last one, ten, and we'll stay here. Good. So have a little rest for a second. We're going to bend the knees, hands onto the shins, we're going to roll like a ball. So, knee or feet are up off the mat, roll back onto the pelvis. Spine is straight to start, elbows up nice and high, shoulder blades are back, tuck the chin in, round the spine as you roll back, and up onto the hips. Good, one, we're gonna go for five, two, three, keep the abs tight as you roll back, keep the shoulder blades back and down, four, whoops, as you get to the top, stick the chest forward, last one, chin tucked in, back up, and don't go too far. Perfect. And then roll back down and rest onto the mat. Great. A little bit more now for the lower abs. And then we're going to switch back to the upper abs again. So hands by the side. Big deep breath in. Breathe all the air out. Spine is imprinted at the same time. Legs to tabletop. Straighten the legs to the ceiling. And flutter kicks. Two. Three. Four. Five, if you want to make it harder, head and shoulders up. Six, seven, eight, if the head and shoulders are up, you can stretch the legs a little bit more. Nine, ten. Bend the knees, rest the head down, and bring the feet down. Next one, we're going to do double leg lowers. And again, if you want to make it harder, roll up a little bit higher. Imprint the spine, pull the ribs down, hands by the side, legs to tabletop, straighten the legs. Lower and lift. One, two, head and shoulders up. Three, you can drop the feet a little bit further. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Bend the knees, bring the feet, and rest the head down. Perfect. Next, we're going to do, we're going to do our lateral slides. So we're going to straighten the two legs to the ceiling. We're going to slide the feet side to side. As the right leg moves to the right, it reaches further away. The left leg doesn't reach as far. Back to the middle of the two are even. As the left leg goes out, the right leg slides across the body. Keep the knees locked all the time. 
We're going to keep the pelvis staying on the mat. So if you want to be more aware of it, put your hands down here. If you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to grab the circle, reaching up towards the ceiling. So you're creating less stability through the arms. Spine is imprinted. Big breath in, all the way out. Rib cage comes down. Legs to tabletop. Straighten the legs to the ceiling and slide the legs from left to right. So with the hands up in the ceiling, you can't create any stability through the arms. You have to be more aware of where your pelvis is. You don't want the hips to rock left to right. Good. Perfect. Keep the hands pointing up. Don't try and counterbalance by going in opposite directions. So the hands stay directly above the chest the whole time. One last one. Each side. Bend the knees and rest the feet down. Good. So just a little bit for the obliques to work on the side. We're going to come back to that in the point we start to work the glutes a little bit. Two more for the abs and then we're going to start in the glutes. So we're going to imprint the spine, bring the legs to tabletop, the confusing one now. Right hand to the outside of the right ankle, left hand to the inside of the right knee, straighten the left leg. Good. Two. Three, drop the shoulder blades back. Four, chest up nice and high. Five, six, seven. Don't bring the knees past the hips. Eight, nine, heels up and out the knees. Ten, rest the head down and bring the feet down. Perfect. One more, hands to the side of the head. Move that out of the way. One more for the abs. Imprint the spine, big breath in. All the way out, ribs come down, legs to tabletop, head and shoulders up, elbows to the knees, straighten the legs, elbows apart. One, two, three, keep the chest up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees, rest the head, and rest the feet down. We'll turn over onto our side next. We're going to be a little bit different today. We're going to come up onto the elbow. We're going to lift the ribs up nice and high. We're going to keep the pelvis on the mat. Top hand up to the hip and lift and lower. One, two. So keep the hips on the mat. Three, but make sure your torso is straight. Four, so don't let the ribs sink down like this. Keep the rib cage up nice and high. Eight, nine, last one, ten, and rest down. So you can see here we're working the shoulders a little bit more to keep the shoulder back and down. We're working our obliques on the side to keep the body straight. And you can also feel the hips working a little bit harder. The sneaky way of doing it. But they're starting to work into their inner range where the muscles really are, the fibers overlap a lot and you can start to feel a cramp. So up again, up nice and high. Lift the rib cage up, top leg up six inches and small circles. Two, three. Keep the ribs up. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ribs nice and high, ten, change directions, ten, nine, eight, seven, keep those lower ribs up, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest the leg down, rest the ribs, and rest the shoulder blade. We're going to cycle forward and backwards, and then we're going to come up and down some side planks after that. So, shoulders back. Ribs nice and high, lift the leg up and cycle. One, two, keep those ribs up. Three, four, keep the left knee to the ceiling. Top leg points slightly up. Eight, nine, keep the ribs up. Ten, backwards. Ten, nine, so down with these ribs here, drop down. Seven, six, five, pelvis stays still as well. Four, three, pinch the shoulder blades. Two, one, and rest the leg down. Now, so we're being nice, we're going to bend the bottom knees. We're going to have the shoulder, elbow directly below the shoulder, hand onto the top hip, lift and lower. One, two, pinch the shoulder blades. Three, four, five, six, hips up nice and high. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten and rest down. Perfect. Switch to the opposite side. So, left elbow below the shoulder, legs straight down on the mat, top hand onto the hip, 
Lift the ribs nice and high. Lift the top leg. One, two, three, four, five. Lift the knees ribs. Six, seven. Look for a straight line. Eight, nine, ten. Rest the leg and rest the shoulder. Little circles. So again, ribs up nice and high. Straighten the torso as much as you can. Top leg up six inches. And circles. One, two, three. Make sure the top hip is directly over the bottom hip and you're not twisting and opening the body up like this. That makes it easier. Keep the hips up, keep the ribs up nice and high, hips facing forward, and change directions. Go at 10, 9, keep the ribs up 8, 7, 6, nice round circles, 4, pinch the shoulder blades, 3, 2, 1, rest the leg and rest the shoulders. Cycling forward and back, and then our little planks to the side. So I'm gonna pinch the shoulders back, ribs up nice and high, top leg up six inches, and cycle forward. One, two, three. Remember, we can lift up from these bottom ribs. Four, five, six, seven. Pelvis right on top of each other. Eight, nine, ten, and backwards. Ten, nine, Eight, keep the ribs up. Seven, six, five. Shoulder blades pinch together. Four, three, two, one. And rest the legs down. And rest the shoulder just before the end. You might feel a little bit of pressure building up in here. But really pinch the shoulder blades back. It'll put the shoulder joint in a better position and take some of that pain away. It also gets you working your external toes and your lats, which helps to pull the head of your humerus away from your crown and march. That's where you get a lot of the pain kind of coming down the side of the arm. That's where it's coming from. So, nice straight line along the body, elbow directly below the shoulder, hand onto the top hip, lift and lower. One, two, three. This time we're lifting from the hips, four, we're keeping the ribs up the whole time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one last one, 10, and rest back down. Perfect. That's the hard work from today's class. We're a couple of minutes at the end, so we're gonna stretch out the shoulders a little bit, especially putting a weight through them. So we're gonna start with the traps coming down the side here, looking straight forward, hand over the top of the head, very slightly turn your chin up towards the ceiling, and start to get the anterior scalenes, and get the upper traps. Good, so hold that stretch. And you can slowly turn the head down towards the mat and see where you get the best stretch. And hold that position. Some fibres will be tighter than others, the posterior part, the anterior part of the traps and the scalenes. So as you very slightly rotate the head, you'll feel that stretch differ. And hold the part where it's most intense. Good. Bring the nose to the armpit. And we get the leverage of scapula muscle. Pull the chest forward. So the body is up nice and high. Drop the shoulder blades back and down. Good. Perfect. Back to the middle. Left ear to the left shoulder. Left hand over the top of the head. Drop the right shoulder blade back. And again, looking slightly up to the ceiling to start. And then bit by bit, start to turn the head down. See where we get the most relief from the stretch and hold that position. So, on my right side here, my head slightly turned down, I feel most of the stretch. And on my left side, I had it more when I was slightly looking up towards the ceiling. Nose to the armpit, hand over the back of the head. Stretching the left scalp. Again, chest up nice and tall. Perfect. I'm back to the middle and we're finished with that. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.